The great oxidation event at 2.3 billion years ago did more than just pave the way for animals to evolve. It brought on a climate change event that was catastrophic by today's standards. And the evidence for this enormous change in climate is seen in rocks like this here in the Medicine Bow Mountains of Wyoming. The rock here behind me is known as a diamictite. It's a conglomerate, a rock made of larger pieces floating in a smaller matrix. But in a diamictite, the matrix is made up of mud. What environment on earth could do this? There's only two places we know where diamictite can form from debris flows, landslides coming down mountains, or from glaciers. Because a glacier can carry a rock, and as that glacier melts, it can fall into an environment where mud is being deposited. By walking around the hills here, gathering clues, we find evidence that these cobbles were deposited by glaciers. They show characteristic scratches from where a glacier is carving over the rock. They show angled sides where the rock is pinned and the glacier is moved by it, known as faceting. So it's a glacial deposit, but why would that be a, considered a global catastrophe? Well, what's fascinating is that rocks like this, diamictites, glacial-derived diamictites, are found on every continent in the world at a, roughly the same time. In fact, there's evidence around the world for glaciers right after the Great Oxidation event from about 2.4 to 2.1 billion years ago. It's known as the Huronian glaciation, also known as a snowball earth condition. The reason it was termed a snowball earth was because there's more than just evidence of glaciers. These rocks are also known to have been formed at low latitudes, meaning the magnetic crystals in the rock, we can take them, bring them back to a lab, and measure where they're pointing to the North Pole. And in high latitudes, those minerals are pointing vertical. Towards the equator, those minerals are pointing flat when they get crystallized. In these rocks, they're pretty close to flat, and so we know they're deposited at low latitude. In fact, the crazy thing is, rocks of this age, of the Huronian age, the Paleoproterozoic, are found at low latitudes all over the world. So the entire Earth must have had glaciers in some time interval of about 300 million years, but it's a time of extensive glaciation. And so we refer to this again as the snowball earth, because what would the earth have looked like to a traveler in space? It may have looked like a giant snow covered ball.